We're gonna look at the seated machine hip adduction and before we get into the actual movement, it's incredibly important on this to really get the setup bang on. First thing we're gonna look at is actually establishing what your active range of hip abduction is. Why is that important? Well, when we're doing these hip adductions, when we start abducting back to the starting position, it's super easy to start exceeding your actually your active range um, because obviously that load you're already resisting against, it can actually kind of pull you, if you're not careful, past the point that you're actually able to control yourself. So what we'd get the client to do, or get you to do in general, would be to pull the pin up and actively abduct out to the point where you're in control. Now what a lot of people do is they'll then force it to the next one out, which we don't want. So we want to actually make sure that we're doing it well within what is, so make sure it's just the abductors that you take out to the active range first. So now you're within control in that active range. And before she even starts off as well, we could also get Mal to just palpate her adductors so that when she presses contact into these placement pads, we know that as she's on the way out, that the tension is staying off. Now what will often happen is if you're also exceeding your active range, you'll get to a point where these are no longer really contracting all that much. So it's really important that you're keeping tension on the adductors, both through the concentric and through the eccentric as well. Now, a couple of things to consider here. Mal could help herself keeping the hips stable by pulling herself down into the pad. She might also feel a bit more comfortable either leaning a little bit more upright or sitting all the way back. That's something you've got to establish for yourself. From there, we've got to remember this is a fantastic op option for getting these adductors really short in that end range so we don't want to rush out of that inward position we nice firm controlled movement holding here contracting hard and then keeping that tension as you lower out and also owning this end point here as well it's super easy to start passing tension off elsewhere in this especially in the hip joint so make sure that we're not doing those super fast jerky movements. We're controlling this throughout the entirety. So one or two more good reps. So in controlling that position, pausing at that abducted range as well, and really, really biasing that adductor, adductor tissues the entire way through the set. 